the most popular super minis on the market, the Volkswagen Polo is the small car that doesn't really feel small at all. Especially not this latest model. In fact, stand a few feet further back, squint a bit, and you might even think it was a Golf. The new Polo is nearly 8 centimetres longer than before, and the boot space has grown by over 25% to a massive 351 litres. That's only 30 litres less than a Golf. It is still a compact car though, neat enough not to look or feel too intimidating, yet solid as a rock. The Polo interior has always been great and has always felt that bit more premium and grown up than its rivals. And that has been taken to the next level again in this new model. And it now comes with some really impressive big car kit. Standard features on this Comfort Line model include this 8 inch colour touchscreen display, complete with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Bluetooth phone connectivity. It's a fantastic system to use, one of the best on the market in my opinion, and here are a few of the things it can do. There's steering wheel mounted controls so that you can flick between those features when you're on the move, and it even comes with voice control. Now that's a feature that I rarely use, so let's give that a go. Call Tim. Calling. Tim Mobile. It's got air conditioning, plenty of storage, two well-placed USB ports for charging your phone and a handy tray to put it in. There's some central cup holders, a decent sized glove box and some good sized door bins for stashing your driving fuel. The driving position is pretty good with plenty of adjustment and the seats are pretty comfortable so it's a pretty nice place to be. There's now also some optional colour packs on the inside if you want to pimp your interior, as is very cool to do right now. This one is a sort of a muted grey, but if you go for one of the brighter colours, like the new yellow or orange, you can get it to match that, and it does look very cool. Okay, let's check out the back. The new Polo only comes in five doors, which means no more scrambling to get in and out for your rear seat passengers, and that is a much more dignified entry, I have to say. It's also a lot more practical for those with kids for getting child seats in and out and it comes with two sets of Isofix anchors as standard. Now I'm not a kid and I've still got plenty of room back here and you can especially notice that increase in length in terms of leg room. I mean look at that, that is seriously impressive for a super mini. The middle seat then is as it always is in these cars, a bit of a squish if you had three back here and not as comfortable as the other two because of this hump in the floor. There's a good choice of engines to choose from. The most popular will be the one litre petrol, which you can get in different power outputs of 65, 75 and 95 brake horsepower. The latter being the new turbocharged TSI, which really is a nice little engine if you want that bit of extra power. This is the entry level 65 HP model, which okay, doesn't set the world on fire in terms of performance, but for a city driver, it's still probably all the polo you'll ever need. Because it's quite light and compact, it still feels peppy enough, it's quick off the mark at the lights, but at the same time offers a very solid and reassuring drive. It's got that good big car feel where you want it, as in it doesn't feel like it's going to blow over in the wind, but it's also got all the good small car stuff too, like the tiny turning circle, light steering, and nippy, zippy feel around suburbs and car parks. It also offers the kind of impressive fuel economy you want from a city car, with a claimed figure of 4.7 litres per 100 kilometres and a low motor tax bill of just 190 euro. For those who do do heavier mileage, there's also a couple of 1.6 litre diesels. Unfortunately, alongside the growth in dimensions, the price has also grown a little bit too. And the new Polo now starts at 16,795 or 18,695 for this Comfort Line model. Still quite good value as far as Volkswagens go, still cheaper than a Golf, and being a smaller engined compact car, residual values will be particularly strong. In short, the new Polo is everything a small car should be. And while competition in this segment is now fiercer than ever, the new Polo will still be the one to beat for those who want a premium feeling car in a now not even quite so compact package. Let us know what you think of the new Polo in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. And if you want to see the new Polo for yourself in the metal, you'll find details of your local Volkswagen dealer on carsireland.ie.